searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. And we thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories right now. Delhi Township Police are searching for a critically missing woman with dementia who could be in danger. 67 year old Sung Yu told her family she was going for a walk around 3.30 and has never returned. Police say she has wandered away from home before. The last time she hitchhiked before taking an Uber to the Columbus Airport and boarded a flight to Colorado. If you have any information on her whereabouts, call police at 513-922-0060. Demonstrators gathered outside the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center to demand racial justice Saturday. There were a little more than 100 people there. The peaceful protest was organized by several different groups throughout the city. This group of protesters then marched through downtown to the Justice Center. Let's go on. The Cincinnati Pops Orchestra hosted a virtual version of its annual Red, White and Boom concert tonight. The event was performed and streamed in part live from Cincinnati Music Hall. Melinda Doolittle, the Ensemble Over the Rhine, Steep Canyon Rangers and the U.S. Army Chorus all made guest appearances. It was a hot one to celebrate the 4th and it's going to stay that way, Raven, for quite a while. Yes, it will. Things will not change very much for us. Take a look at our temperatures for your Sunday looking into the low 90s, pretty close to the mid 90s range. And I will tell you as we head into the next couple of days, uh, even though these temperatures will stay in the low 90s, it'll feel like we're into the upper 90s and even some 100s. For places keep that in mind so heading into your sunday looking at a few showers moving through but mostly should stay dry and hot for the next several days on out